Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to, uh, Chocolate Contest. Today, we're going to Pilipinas the level. Pilipinas? I don't know how to pronounce that one. Okay, so, I finished the main story of the new Pokemon games, and then I have discovered that there's lots of things I still haven't even touched on exploring. Like, there was this one item that was taunting me for much of the game, and once I finally got the correct exploration abilities to get to it, it just dissolved when I pulled it out of the ground. And so I went and did some research, because I've already beaten the main story, and it turns out there's another 31 of those things. So I have some exploration to do. Which is fine. I got a lot of Pokemon to evolve as well. Oh, look. This one correctly did the music. Welcome to Bodoke, Philippines. This place is very famous for it is white sanded beaches and is where tourists come here. Enjoy your stay. Okay, so... The person who made this doesn't speak English as their first language, I can forgive. Uh-oh. What? What? Okay. So, how am I meant to get past this? Let's see, can't pick these up, can't slide into these, fire didn't work. I was trying to pick those up. Hmm. Interesting re-sprite of that turtle. Oh, really? Okay, I can see why this level is where it is. It is very easy to make it so that you can't continue. Bounce. Okay, so you need to bring an enemy here, but it's very possible and easy to destroy all the enemies before you even get there. What? Okay. 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 
Now I am surprised that this scored as high as it did. I mean, the level starts and you are given the tools and therefore encouragement to destroy all the enemies except that flower. Whoops. Okay. Oh good, an extra life. Okay, so now I need to head back for that purple exclamation mark block, I guess. Or what if I don't? What if I head over here instead? What is with that arrow? I touched one before and it injured me. Okay, hit this. What happens if I go up here? Ah! Okay. Why'd I want to go back here? I don't understand. Okay, so I need to find some yellow blocks to destroy. Alright. Wait, did I say find yellow blocks to destroy? That doesn't make sense. Okay, so what's this? Really? That's what those arrows do? Because the tutorial for the arrows was, hey, check this out, they hurt you. Ah. Okay, so here's some goop. So if I want to get up there, I need to either hop off an enemy or find some other way to get there. Sorry, I couldn't pause. The sneeze just came upon me so suddenly. So. Ah, oh, interesting. So I need to find some way to hit a purple block. Wait. 
Did I just get myself into another unwinnable situation? I do believe I did. Wait, that is interesting. Haha! Uh -huh. Now, the next question, why should I hit that red switch? Whoops. Ouch. Woo, okay. So... Okay, mushroom. Really? So I need to use a dolphin to... What am I seeing here? Why would you do this to me? Hop. Well, I guess I'll just have to tank a hit. <sighs> okay, so the dolphin goes up above those red blocks. And I can jump while the dolphin is above those red blocks. Okay, good. That enemy was defeated. What? Oh no! Oh, phew. Okay, I don't know why I wanted to hit that, but... I hit it. Okay, so grab this. Okay, so. Oh, good. That one got defeated. And this is the anti-mushroom. Okay, so... What would I even use that for? An extra life, how nice. Welcome to the Beach Fight Arena. Our next epic fight is Mario vs. the Big Bag Cheap Chomp. Okay, so... Once again, though, I'm left with the question of why I would hit this. What does it do for me? In fact, hitting that appears to have been bad for me because I can't go in this pipe or get that power up or get that checkpoint. Alright, so I got powered up. I shall go strike this again. Avoid going down here until I hit this checkpoint. 
Now the question is, does this pipe go somewhere? I must know. It does not. Okay. Get ready, set, go, round one, boss base solo, the chef. Boss base duel with Arnus Lotus. Round three, the ultimate finale. I'm not sure what I meant to do here. The winner is Mario the Brave Plumber. His prized possession is a power star. Okay, so this is a wraparound scene, right? Well, that level certainly existed. I feel like it got better as I went, but that first obstacle felt a little unfair. You know, the first uh, bubbles that you had to pop. They were poorly indicated about what you were supposed to do about them. But the level got better as I went, I feel like. Although the boss was, uh... Not quite as uninteresting as my boss, but... If you go into it with fire flowers, you're gonna have a easy time. Join me next time when I take on this next level, whatever that is. I'll see you then.